Welcome back guys, I'm your host BlizzConnects and today I want to share a little journey with you that I undertook a few weeks ago. So this game here, probably most of you will know, is Hammering Harry and that was one of my favorite Sega Mega Drive uh, arcade based games. It's a platformer, you got to smash stuff with a hammer and it was just relentlessly cool. So I undertook a sort of journey to go and make a platformer and I wanted to do it in a way, because I've never participated in a game jam, but to do it that I could then use that material to teach on this channel. And that's exactly what I went to do. So I embarked on a journey um, some time ago, and you'll see that character in my banner above on my YouTube channel, in creating something similar, something similar as fun as this. You smash around with the hammer, but at the same time adding a little bit more depth to it, as well as, uh, you know, some other weapons, jetpacks, etc. Uh, I chose to use Construct, obviously, because that way it's a lot easier for those for you to learn. And then this great idea was born. Now, here it is. I've called it Mine Hunter to start with. Um, it's a lot different. Uh, it's done with Construct 3. I added the mobile ability to it as well. As you can see the hammer. Uh, just the same simple movements. Added some depth with regards to the characteristics as well as the um, stages. Uh, the only thing that I haven't done, which is what I'm going to look to do, is add a level sort of generator. At the moment, it's just a straight single level. Um, understand that I did this within a week. So I wanted to bring different AIs and different uh, abilities to the game opposed to just you know mario brothers based jump you know collect coins so there's a lot of uh, to do's to know how's etc but it was extremely fun and fulfilling in doing so and also wanting to tackle something different in the sense of the platform deliverable you know making sure it comes to android as well as the uh, iOS etc. So as you can see level is uh, done with the tile maps you can destroy tile maps using it. Um, the, the construct platform as you guys are aware and the things that I've shown on this channel in the past is easy and very simple to use especially for novice developers just getting into it. So that is going to be basically a series that I'm going to look to create over the next course of a few weeks on which we can basically um, learn how to do this within a week and how to create it. So yeah, you can see just going through it, I've got my explosions, the different uh, event sheets, I've got the particles, everything I've gone ahead and separated those groups. I'm probably going to put this project just to let you know on GitHub and then we will probably follow it together, but it's vital for me to step through these different uh, events and actions so that you have a sort of a broad understanding of how the game works and as well as how the functions of Construct 3 works. So over here, you can see just a simple layout, uh, the different variables on the player, uh, essentially. If you go ahead and click on the has a jetpack, just to show you what that potentially looks like, I've gone ahead and made things quite modular for the for the game itself, so that we can use different elements, and this would apply to any form of platformer. Um, it's, it's built with a state machine, uh, taking into consideration a lot of the good practices that I use in Unity, as well as Kodo, um, I've gone ahead and created that um, framework for Construct 3. So if you are looking to start a platformer game, this would have that, we've got the wall grappling, we've got a lot of in-depth things. Then I went ahead and created a boss, which is quite cool, final stage, just to show you what that would potentially look like. Um, I haven't given this a lot of thought, like I said, I haven't done a level generator as of yet, uh, but that is definitely on the QA for uh, up upcoming video to show you how to go ahead and um, create your levels with code generation opposed to having to physically do them individually. So yeah, you can see also total level is destructible with the hammer itself. Uh, just something cool and fun, um, you know, that we're probably going to partake um, as well as the different menus in the up and coming um, up and coming video series that we're going to be doing. Uh, like I said, gonna keep us nice and short, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please feel free to give me any feedback that you might have. Uh, it's going to be a Construct 3 series. We might port that to a Kodo series as well. Um, this won't affect really my development that I'm doing, but I just feel uh, this channel is really about teaching opposed to what it is that I'm just doing. So I want to keep um, that in the flow of things like we did with the RPG um, tutorials. I wanna make sure that I stick with the rhythm of teaching and showing you guys how to go ahead and make awesome games. Again, the assets, I know that is a question that comes up often, is assets that I've purchased. I, I quite enjoy support developers as well as graphic designers um, it is a cutthroat industry and it's always great to give back in the means of supporting their stuff as well well guys that's it I really do hope you enjoyed it it's gonna be a short video today I just wanted to give you a heads up and show you what it is I'm gonna be doing and what it is that the channel is gonna be bringing in terms of our next series so looking forward to it if you're new to this channel if you could give a little love hit this like and the subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one